Hey, I'm here with uh, CBA star junior Blaze Farrow. Just won the boys division two race, 16-10 Blaze. Helping your team win um, team title here, third straight year, average 16-30. Um, you know, top five guys all under 16-40. Uh, what do you guys, what do you think Blaze, first of all, about your performance up front? You were together with uh, Craig Cordy and the kid from Gilderland the whole race. Uh, just mostly a strategic race. Uh, since it's so early in the season, just tactics. Uh, kind of felt how he was out in the, the last woods, and then come the last hill, I just kind of hammered it in just to beat him. Okay, so pretty much uh, wasn't about time today for you guys, for you and the rest no, of the guys? No, nothing really about time. Okay. Just I mean, to win. How, what's that, I'm sorry? Just to win. Just to win, okay. Yep. Obviously, you know, warm day today. Does that play into it at all? Oh, yeah, race? absolutely. Uh, we, we didn't totally prepare for it well enough, like put water on our heads or anything, so we underestimated the heat. I think that affected some of our guys. So in the future, obviously, just put ice on our necks or something. Mm -hmm. Just little things that are going to improve our overall performance. Gotcha. Um, and he averaged 16.30. Your fifth guy was about 16.38, so, you know, nice, um, you know, spread there, less yeah. than, less than uh, you know, 30 seconds. Is that what you guys wanted to do here? Was that a big part of the plan today, to keep yeah. your pack tight? Yeah, that was the plan going into it. Just everyone be up right from the start, and then hopefully, like, it won't be breaking into a couple groups. It did, which worked out pretty well, though. Everyone did what they needed to do. And the plan was if it did break into two groups, then you beat as many kids as you can at the end. And everyone did that. So. Okay. Hey, obviously, you guys came in number one U.S. Miles split LaSalle, mm -hmm. who you beat today, uh, came in number one and dice that. Yeah. You know, found out before the race they were missing their top guy. Does that play into the way you guys race or how you no. feel about the way things went? Not really. We would have raced the same way even if they had their top guy. Like, it's just a matter of confidence in like what we've been doing all summer, mm -hmm. uh, the weeks leading up to this, and then just racing. Yeah. Hey, I know a win's a win, and you come here, and that's the that's the goal always. Yeah. I mean, knowing that you beat them without their number one guy, does it? I don't know. Does it does it take away at all from uh, uh, from from what you guys did today, or or how do you? I don't think it takes away from what we did. It just we know that we never know what's going to come next. So right. we're obviously going to train a little bit harder because. You always train harder if there's a little bit of mystery. You never know what's going to come, so yeah. just always training, actually. Yeah, I mean, obviously you have no control over that. you got to yeah. race your own race. Mm -hmm. um, how about, um, you know, looking ahead. Obviously, this, this is the course where you guys have come back in Nike, Nike Northeast Regional. Mm -hmm. um, second last year at Nationals. Every CBA team tells me every year the goal is to win Nationals. Yes. I'm sure that's the same feeling. Absolutely, same thing. Everyone's invested. Everyone, it's the only thing we all want. So hopefully it works out. All right. Hey, how about for you individually? You I mean... You battled Craig Cordy today. You guys were the top two guys last year yeah. to meet the champs. Was that on your mind today? Kind of like a, uh, a showdown of two of Jersey's best guys up front? Not so much. Just kind of whoever was there was going to be there and just beat him at the end. Okay. Just put put it all into it at the end, actually. Just care at the end. Right. So, so pretty much the race went just the way you guys wanted. Yep. Exactly how we wanted it. All right. Yeah. All, right. all right. You heard from Blaze Farrow, CBA Jr. Wins the race in 16-10, helps CBA beat LaSalle, which was number one in the country by Diestat. Now, there should be no dispute, CBA, U.S. number one. Big winner here at Bowdoin Park. Congrats, players. Thanks. Thank you. All right.